Here's a question for you. Are Ouija boards really evil? Or are they just toys? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, Nick Bello here from Beyond the Hub Podcast. The Ouija board, also commonly known as the spirit board, talking board, or witch board, has literally been around for ages. But why? What's the reason? Some people think you can use them to communicate with the dead. And some people think they're a cool board game to play when your friends are over on a cold and rainy night. But the question is, what do you think? People always thought that the word Ouija comes from the French and German word for yes. But that's not true. The name was given from a word spelled out on the board when medium Helen Peters Nosworthy asked the board to name itself. And the board spelled out Ouija. And the board told her it meant good luck. Now, one of the first mentions of the automatic writing method used on this kind of board was found in China around 1100 AD in historical documents of the Song Dynasty. The method back then was known as Fuji or planchette writing. The use of this board, they believed, was a way to communicate with the spirit world until it was forbidden. As part of the spiritualist movement, mediums began using this board for communications with the dead. Following the American Civil War in the United States, mediums did a significant amount of business in allegedly allowing survivors to contact their lost relatives. I don't know, that kind of sounds like a scam to me. These spirit boards were so common by 1886 that even the newspapers reported the phenomenon taking over the spiritualist camp in Ohio. It was only at this point in 1890 that the board was named by Helen Peters Nosworthy in Baltimore as the Ouija board. Now this is kind of weird, but the board eventually became a parlor game. Charles Kennard claims to have invented the board with his business partner, Elijah Bond, who patented it with help from his sister-in-law spiritualist, Helen Peters Nosworthy. See how all this kind of comes together? I'm starting to think this is less about spirits and more about money. Now, the local patent office at first refused to give them a patent. Bond and Nosworthy then traveled to Washington, D.C., where they were also denied a patent. Until the chief patent officer asked the board to spell out his name, which it did. And that did it. In 1901, an employee of Bond, William Fold, took over the talking board production under the name Ouija. And that's how the spirit board became part of your game collection. On a scientific level, a 2012 study found when answering yes or no questions, the board was a lot more accurate than guesswork, suggesting that it might draw on the unconscious mind of the user. Well, the board has obviously been criticized by religious and Christian denominations for years. The Catholic Church explicitly forbids any practice or use of the board whatsoever. In 2005, several Catholic bishops called for the boards to be banned and warned their congregations that they were literally talking to demons. In 2001, these spirit boards were burned in New Mexico by religious groups as symbols of witchcraft. There are so many papers and books, you could literally spend the rest of your life doing it. And what about these spirit boards in Hollywood? Well, they were plenty. You can see one of these boards clearly in one of the early scenes of the 1973 horror film, The Exorcist. There was a film in 1986 called Witchboard. What Lies Beneath in 2000 includes a seance scene with a Ouija board. And Paranormal Activity in 2007 involves a violent entity haunting a couple that becomes more powerful when the board is used. And there's a ton more. If you want to know what they are, do a Google search and dive in. But the real question is, what do you think? Are they evil? Are they just toys? Let me know in the comments below. Have you ever used one? Have you ever had any bad experiences? After seeing this video, are you more or less inclined to try one yourself? Legal disclaimer, I am making no recommendations to you guys whatsoever on using these boards. 
Just wanted to get that out there in the open, so none of this comes back to haunt me. I really hope you enjoyed that journey into the evil board. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. I've got a ton of new videos coming up really soon. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments, and I'll get back to you. In the meantime, keep your eyes on the sky and your foot in the grave. This is Nick Bello signing off. Stay ghosty.